video. Today we're going to be taking the Surface Laptop 7 out for a spin and see how it is throughout the day. If you're new to the day in life series here on the channel, this is where I test various products out like phones, laptops, other tech to see how they hold up in everyday scenarios. But yeah, anyways, I got really custom to this laptop the past half year. I bought this and made a review on it around July or August, I believe, of 2024. I actually returned the old one and opted for the smaller 13.8 inch model and the Sapphire colorway, which is pretty dope. Uh, of course, I had to go with the Snapdragon X Elite model, a uh, pair of the 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of SSD storage. And to be honest, I always really love Microsoft laptops. Their approach was so daring from the Surface Book with the detachable screen to the Surface Go with the movable keyboards, a uh, Surface Pro, Surface Studios. Microsoft was just doing a lot of cool things I don't think other laptop manufacturers were willing to do. Sure, um, some of them kind of flopped like uh, the Surface Books, but I really believe that this current generation of the Surface Laptop 7 is Microsoft's most serious attempt on creating a traditional laptop that's meant to compete against the Apple MacBooks, additionally representing Microsoft's transition to Windows operating system on ARM architecture. But yeah, today is an off day for me, so I kind of want to take it easier. It's kind of cold in the basement right now. That's why I got this really warm jacket on. I do want to grab lunch later, and I'm looking at getting a new mouse today. I'm thinking about the, the G502X Plus Lightspeed, uh, the one in white, and I do want to try and see how this mouse is. Plus, I can plug it into the Surface Laptop 7 and see how it is as well. And we have this laptop charged at 100% battery. You know, just to make it fun, I'm going to change the power mode to best performance and we will see how that will go from there so let's get right into it ah. egg rolls. The most significant improvement in the Surface series, in my opinion, is introduction of the new haptic touchpads, which is powered by Sensel. Unlike the traditional diving board style touchpads found on most Windows laptops that only lets you click on the lower half of it, with the haptic touchpad, you can essentially click anywhere, even towards the top. And with this feature, I can effortlessly use my thumb to make quick selections while keeping my hand on the keyboard, enhancing both convenience and accessibility. And it just feels so much better. Additionally, the keyboard offers an excellent typing experience. The travel distance is surprisingly deep. The spacing between the keys is well proportioned and the keys themselves have a more softer, comfortable feel while typing. And with the launch of the new Surface laptops, prominently showcasing Windows Copilot and its AI driven features, they included the addition of a dedicated co-pilot key which effectively functions as a chat GPT hotkey for instant access I found. Uh, Microsoft Copilot serves as a developer-centric assistant, seamlessly integrating with Microsoft 365 applications to streamline tasks and enhance productivity. Anyways, my afternoon was largely spent responding to emails, organizing events, planning some video content ahead of time, and doing a light bit of shopping on Amazon. So one thing I noticed about the display on this is that it's not OLED, which is fine. We're rocking with a 2304 by 1536 pixel resolution screen here, but there is a lot of reflections coming out of this thing, especially towards the windows, which I wasn't a big fan of. Comparing this to like the MacBook, they just have a better anti-reflective coating on there. I find it sometimes a little hard, especially with the lights, if you're at a cafe or at a library. I had to turn the brightness all the way up to the top. Regardless, the screen is pretty smooth. You get 120 hertz refresh rate. The screen does hit up to max peak brightness of 600 it so it is bright enough and I really like how it weighs around 3.2 pounds so it's you know not the heaviest but it's pretty lightweight and especially moving this into your backpack or carrying it around anywhere it's just really nice and the form factor is what I really like the most about this. kind of has like a nice clamshell design to it but I did remember one time I clasped my hand between the gaps when opening it so I gotta be careful it is kind of sharp right around here. 
Best Buy. I'm trying to get this mouse. Actually, I want to see how it is first. I think I'm trying to get it. I haven't bought anything in a while. This one's pretty cool though. The yeah, white version. Qualcomm is competing on all fronts, aiming to surpass Intel chips in Apple Silicon. The Surface Laptop 7 meanwhile delivers on strong battery life, and in synthetic benchmarks, the X Elite performs on par with M3 Air and Intel's Ultra 9 185 CPU, even surpassing them in some native tests. Everyday tasks like navigating across the UI and opening and closing apps are instantaneous, leaving me impressed by the computer's speed and responsiveness. Editing 4K video clips on DaVinci Resolve 19 timeline was remarkably smooth, and I didn't feel any hiccups while adding effects or cutting down large clips Ready? and I genuinely appreciate the thinness of the display paired with its rounded screen corners which gives a laptop a sleek and refined appearance the bezels are even slimmer and there's no notch and Microsoft managed to fit a 1080p studio camera into this design and the quality is impressive I also tried out Windows Studio effects which utilizes AI with its compatible NPU to apply special effects like auto framing that follows your face around portrait blur and eye contact to name a few and I can definitely see this coming in clutch for a professional work call in school especially when you want to have yourself as a center of attention. Alright, so just got back. I had to finish up some chores and errands for my parents, but got some more video clips edited on the Surface Laptop 7. I also had to finish up some things on here as well, but we're looking at 60% battery health on this. But I do want to open up this gaming mouse real quick. So, G502X, it's a pretty expensive mouse. Oh, here it is. It's kind of similar to the regular G502 before. The white is definitely shining on this. I like the gray accent that they got over here too. Oh, look at that. Blue and purple. I like this RGB chroma on this. Hold on. Yeah, hey, that's a really good feeling mouse. I think it definitely matches the setup too with a clean white aesthetic. But enough of this. I'm going to load up GTA 5 real quick. As far as I know on the Snapdragon chip, only a select handful of them work because um, they're not really fully optimized on ARM architecture yet. But GTA 5 is a good example. Let's just boot up, see how it is. All right, we got to turn these settings down cannot play on very high at least we got eight gigs of video ram in here so looks like this game is running on 30 yeah 30 some frames per second i'm gonna call it my mechanic real quick hold on oh a little lag spike there the rpg i mean it's like a 10 year old game but it's still running really well on here let's try to move this up i definitely hear the fans kicking up it's getting a little hot towards the top of the keyboard here man gta is eating up a lot of ram get in bro get in get in get in yeah, get in. Nice, nice. <laughs> this random guy just jumped in my car. Uh, the game is dipping in below around 12 frames. Uh, there is some hiccups, but it's still playable at the end of the day. Obviously, this is not a gaming PC, but for what it's worth, it can handle pretty well. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. This guy's trying to kill us. Trying to run this guy over. <laughs> oh yeah this guy's definitely hacking how is he teleporting to me what the heck all right that's pretty much it day in life with the surface laptop 7 pretty good laptop still if you ask me it's still worth a buy uh even after half a year later i think it works well a lot for any college students out there even some young business owners or anyone just looking for a solid laptop snapdragon chips definitely can't perform i'm gonna just keep playing on this for a while see how it is but I'm really digging the new mouse as well if you liked what you see, comment down below what you guys think. Let me know how the Surface Laptop is for you or if you like any other laptops from other manufacturers. But until then, that's pretty much it. See you guys in the next video. Peace.